re keeps programming your mind with certain beliefs until they become solid beliefs and you start believing that this is how life should be like. Do you ever wonder why do large companies bomb you with advertisements every day even though everyone is already aware of their brand? Why are these people bombing you with the advertisement 100 times each month? Why are they doing that? Why are they trying to force you to see their advertisements while you are already aware of their brand? The point is simple because they understand that the mind gets programmed by repetition and if they kept repeating the message over and over you will start believing in this message and for example if you saw the advertisement for coke 100 times a month you will go whenever you're, you're thirsty and you'll tell the guy please give me one coke you didn't realize that you ordered coke because you were programmed to order coke long ago okay back to our topic getting over someone if you kept programming yourself with the media uh, with the songs like My Immortal, with movies like Sweet November, you'll start to developing false beliefs about relationships which will prevent you from recovering whatever you've done to recover. The point is, if you kept telling yourself, or if the song kept telling you that you can't live without your soulmate, that there is only one soulmate, that life is going to be horrible without him, that if you lost your soulmate, then life has no meaning, and things like that, you will never be able to recover. So the third advice I have for you in order to get over a breakup is, to stop listening to these things and to watching these movies at least for one month after you break up because you don't want to program your mind that way while you are still sensitive to the emotions you are experiencing one final thing that's really important and that lots of people ask me about too everything reminds me of him I usually get a mail from someone who already uh, trying to recover and he tells me Everything reminds me of her. Whenever, to, uh, whenever I go to the places that we used to go to together, I remember her. I can't forget her. Please help. Um, before I tell you how to get over this problem, let me tell you a certain uh, concept in psychology that's called anchoring. Whenever two events happen together so that one of them reminds you of the other, this is called an anchor. For example, if you listen to a certain music that reminded you of a certain situation that happened, those two situations are said to be anchored together. So. Anchors are formed whenever the first event, keep, first event keeps occurring and the second event keeps occurring at the same time. If you kept listening to that song, whenever you are in that situation, the anchor will happen. So how are anchors broken? Anchors are broken if you kept repeating one of the events without associating the other with it. For example, if you kept listening to this song on your own without putting yourself in that situation, the anchor will weaken and this song will never remind you of that situation once again. Uh, I'm sure you have had a song that you have really loved and that you have really felt good whenever you listen to it and then right after listening to it 100 times let's say the song started not to have any effect in your mood why is that? because the song was anchored to happiness and because you repeated one of them alone without repeating the happiness the song started losing its effect so back to getting over someone everything reminds you of that person because lots of things in your life are already anchored to that person you used to go to the same places together. You used to do the same activities together. You used to do lots of things so that these things became anchored. In order to get over these anchor, anchors, you only need to do one thing. Just keep doing the first things without remembering the person. Uh, some people send me mails and telling me, uh, okay, but I've tried going to the same places we used to go together and I'm still unable to get over him. Because you are strengthening the anchor by remembering him. Because you are visualizing him. Because you are daydreaming. Just go to this place and stop thinking about that person and by time you'll discover that the anchors will weaken on their own. I know that sometimes the memories can be stopped and that sometimes you can't prevent yourself from thinking about the person and that's okay. But whenever you remember him, just push the thoughts away instead of giving in to them. Instead of, st of daydreaming and thinking about him for like 20 minutes. This will strengthen the anchor and will prevent you from recovering and will, will never solve the problem that everything reminds you of him. So in order to stop forgetting that person whenever you do the same activities you used to do with him together, just weaken the anchors keep doing the same things and stop thinking about it okay one final thing that i want to say about that is why do you think we accept the death of a person or a loved one and we hardly accept a breakup i'm sure that every one of us has at least lost a, a close friend or, or a relative or something like that and he will manage to recover why don't we recover from breakups and we recover from that because as long as there is a 1% hope that you are going to get that person back, you won't be able to recover. Depression is all about having 99% loss of hope and a 1% hope. If you manage to lose that hope, you will recover. That's why you accept the death of a friend. You know why? Because right after he dies, 
your mind starts understanding that you will never get back and so acceptance starts happening so in simple words acceptance never happens before you understand that there's no way in getting that person back now back to the breakups do you know why people never accept the breakup simply because they keep telling themselves that there is a possibility to get back to him and that's why they never recover if you want to recover kill the hope completely if uh, you have pictures together tear them down if he has bought you a chocolate eat the chocolate uh, if there is any kind of hope just kill it I remember I got a mail from one of the offsite readers who told me uh, I broke up with a person and um, that happened long ago and I still love her and she's now inviting me to her wedding should I go? I told him yes you must go because as soon as you go to the wedding I know that you'll get shocked and you'll feel bad for three days but your mind will understand that the breakup uh, or that the relationship has ended and there is no way in getting back together once you understand that there is no way in getting her back you'll start to recover and you'll find that you are feeling much